In this video lecture, we will compute the four point DFT of the given discrete time sequence x of n is equal to 1, 2, 1, 2. So basically, the length of the sequence is 4 and the DFT which we are going to calculate is 4 point. So we can say n is equal to 4. So in the previous lecture, we discussed that n should always be greater than or equal to L. So we discussed in the previous class that the DFT function x of k is always equal to summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e to the power minus j 2 pi k n upon capital N where k is equal to 0, 1, 2 up to n minus 1. In this particular question as the length of the sequence is 4, the n will vary from 0 to 3, 0 to 4 minus 1 which is 3, x of n e to the power minus j 2 pi k n upon 4 as the length of the sequence is equal to 4. So we need to calculate the value of x of k which is having four number of complex samples capital X of 0 capital X of 1 capital X of 2 and capital X of 3 and we need to calculate these four values so first we will calculate capital X of 0 for that k is equal to 0 so this equation can be written as capital X of 0 is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to 3 x of n e to the power minus j 2 pi 0 into n divided by 4 which can be written as x of 0 for n equal to 0 x of 1 for n is equal to 1 e to the power 0 is equal to 1 plus x of 2 e to the power 0 which is equal to 1 plus x of 3 e to the power 0 which is equal to 1 and as we know that x of 0 is equal to 1 x of 1 is equal to 2 x of 2 is equal to 1 and x of 3 is equal to 2 which is is equal to 6 so the first sample or capital X of 0 is equal to 6. So in this way we have calculated the first sample of the DFT. Let us calculate for k is equal to 1 or second sample which is capital X of 1. Now it can be written as x of 1 is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to 3 x of n e to the power minus j 2 pi k is 1 n upon capital N capital N is equal to 4 now it can be written as x of 0 e to the power minus j 2 pi 1 into 0 upon 4 plus x of 1 e to the power minus j 2 pi 1 into 1 upon 4 plus x of 2 e to the power minus j 2 pi 1 into 2 upon 4 plus x of 3 e to the power minus j 2 pi 1 into 3 upon 4 so x of 1 will be equal to x of 0 e to the power 0 which is equal to 1 plus x of 1 e to the power this can be written as 2 to the 4 so this will be e to the power minus j pi upon 2 plus x of 2 this can be written as e to the power minus j pi 
plus x of 3 e to the power minus j 3 pi by 2 now as we know that e to the power plus minus j theta is always equal to cos theta plus minus j sin theta in trigonometric function so any exponential can be represented in equivalent trigonometry with this formula e to the power plus minus j theta is always equal to cos theta plus minus j sin theta so the above equation can be written as x of 1 is equal to x of 0 plus x of 1 cos pi by 2 minus j sin pi by 2 plus x of 2 cos pi minus j sin pi plus x of 3 whole into cos 3 pi by 2 minus j sin 3 pi by 2. As x of 0 is equal to 1, x of 1 is 2, cos pi by 2 is equal to 0 minus sin pi by 2 is equal to 1, x of 2 is 1, cos pi is minus 1, sin pi is 0, x of 3 is equal to 2, cos 3 pi by 2 is 0, minus, minus sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1. So it can be written as j. Once we will simplify this one, it can be written as 1 minus 2j minus 1 plus 2j, which is equal to 0. So x of 1 is equal to 0. So I got the second sample of the DFT. Let us calculate third sample for k is equal to 2. So x of 2 will be equal to summation n is equal to 0 to 3 x of n e to the power minus j 2 pi k is 2 into n upon 4. Let us expand this summation and it will be x of 0 e to the power minus j 2 pi into 2 into 0 upon 4 plus x of 1 e to the power minus j 2 pi 2 into 1 upon 4 plus x of 2 e to the power minus j 2 pi 2 into 2 upon 4 plus x of 3 e to the power minus j 2 pi 2 into 3 upon 4 which is x of 0 is 1 so it is 1 into e to the power 0 plus x of 1 is 2 e to the power 2 2 and 4 cancel minus j pi plus x of 2 is 1 this is 4 4 cancel e to the power minus j 2 pi plus x of 3 is 2 e to the power minus j 3 pi which is equal to 1 plus 2 into e to the power minus j pi can be written as cos pi minus j sin pi plus this can be written as 
कॉस टू पाए माइनस जे साइन टू पाए एंड दिस वन कैन बी रिटर्न एज टू इंटू कॉस थ्री पाए माइनस जे साइन थ्री पाए विच कैन बी रिटर्न एज वन प्लस टू इंटू कॉस पाए इज माइनस वन एंड साइन पाए इज जीरो सो दिस इज माइनस जीरो प्लस कॉस टू पाए इज वन माइनस साइन टू पाए इज जीरो प्लस टू इंटू कॉस थ्री पाए इज माइनस वन एंड दिस इज जीरो सो इट विल बी वन माइनस टू प्लस वन माइनस टू विच इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू and this is my third sample x of 2 now let us calculate the fourth sample for k is equal to 3 so we need to calculate x of 3 which is n is equal to 0 to 3 x of n e to the power minus j 2 pi k n upon Four. So for k is equal to three, it can be written as x of zero e to the power minus j two pi k into zero upon four plus x of one e to the power minus j two pi. Sorry, k is three. Three into one upon four plus x of two e to the power minus j two pi three into two upon four plus x of three e to the power minus j two pi three into three upon four. So x of zero is one. e to the power 0 is equal to 1 plus x of 1 is 2 and it can be written as 2 to the power 4 it is e to the power minus j 3 pi upon 2 plus x of 2 is 1 e to the power 2 to the power 4 minus j 3 pi plus x of 3 is 1 e to the power minus j 9 pi upon 2 which can further be written as 1 plus 2 into cos 3 pi by 2 minus j sin 3 pi by 2 plus cos 3 pi minus j sin 3 pi Plus for this one, this one is two. Two into cos nine pi by two minus j sine nine pi by two. Now the result is one plus two into zero minus j into minus one. Plus for this one, cos three pi is minus one, so it can be written as minus one minus zero. Plus this one will be two into cos nine pi by two is zero minus j into minus one, which is one plus two j minus one. Plus two j, so one and minus one is cancelled, and it is four j, which is my fourth number of sample. So finally, I got the result x of k. The DFT result x of k is equal to sorry sine nine pi by two will be equal to plus one, so it will be minus two j 
and this will be cancel out and finally x of 3 will be equal to 0 so x of k is 6 0 minus 2 0 so these are my DFT result so in this way we can calculate the DFT of a 4 point discrete time sequence so in the next class we will compute the 4 point IDFT or inverse discrete Fourier transform for a given frequency samples thank you